bringing it. It's to set the framework. It's the national disaster framework of the Turks and Caicos Islands. We have a wide cross sections of persons here throughout the Turks and Caicos, both public and private. We have Sadema at the table. We have the Canadian attaché from Jamaica there. I believe it's important to set the tone. They need to understand what the national disaster management structure says. They need to understand the disaster ordinance that gave us the teeth, that gave us the legal right to do what we do in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And once we set that tone, then it's easy for them to understand how do they fit. How does the private facts um, sector fit in our operations in response? How does our regional entities, our international entities fit? Because when they do come to the Turks and Caicos Islands, they do not take over. They work along with us. They follow our And at the end of the event, what do you guys do for Definitely stronger ties. Strengthen our ties during um, normal operations. Do regular exercises together. Um, do plan review. If funding pools are available, then work together to mitigate those hazards that can be mitigated. And again, it, it translates into response and recovery. If you have a strong relationship during mitigation preparedness phase of the disaster cycle, it means therefore when you're impacted, response coordination will be smoother and it will be faster and better. Awesome. Thank you so much. And then we're going to look at what happens when the NEOC or the National Operations Center is activated. We're going to have it very short and sweet. Um, my team knows that I don't like to talk long, so they, they are right here saying yes. <laughs> If possible, or we minimize the, the numbers. Cabinet has final responsibility for disaster management. We're not an entity on our own, we're not a statutory. Cabinet has the final responsibility for the coordination, the monitoring, and the management of disaster management in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And this is in our disaster ordinance. It's online, you can refer to it if you need to get more detail. Before 2015, we had a draft disaster management legislation. And so we pushed to ensure that it was approved by cabinet. It went to the House of Assembly, it was debated. And we are proud to say we have one of the best piece of legislation in the Turks and Caicos Islands. Uh, now, if you know- I know what you see, um, that's, that's uh, called. Is there, do you guys have a physical coordination center, like a, 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 a building or a place where uh, you have the, the kind of the crisis cell or, or the it depends um, if it's a hurricane it's the department of disaster management where we met mm -hmm. and said yesterday the the room that we were in the conference room is converted into an operations room mm -hmm. if it's a hurricane then um, we may relocate to other buildings depending on the magnitude of the the storm and you guys hold uh, meetings in person or because I, I imagine with, with poss possible damage uh, or likely damage after a disaster, that there may be some difficulties in, in reaching the, the center or, or do, you, for example, people sleep there or do you do, you do sometimes uh, via conference call? How, how do you basically manage to, to have um, everyone on the table? Again, if it's a hurricane, we know it's coming. Yeah. So from the what stage, we would, we would have done our partial activation DDMA and some critical staff would relocate to the center. Mm -hmm. We sleep there, we eat, we do everything there. It becomes our home away from yeah, home. Yeah. And um, so we'll activate our family plan. Some critical agencies like police will be there with us and they'll do their shift change. When we move from that partial activation to that shutdown, that's the extreme end, you remain in place, you shelter in place. That is why in terms of where we located, further hazard is important, pre-impact, yeah. because you don't want to remain in a center that is not safe and a Cat 5 is coming for you. So we've made that decision. But wherever the NEOC is, or the EOCs, we will remain in there. So you will be able to, if communication remains up, you will be able to contact us. And our communication system has improved somewhat because now we have vegans, we have VSET, we have um, satellite phones, so we have some redundancies yeah, yeah. that are in place to ensure that we can communicate. Um, in terms of communicating with our regional and international partners, um, we do not have a video conferencing system that